So of course, right when I start to record a lowballing video, they close the auction house for three days to fix some dupe. Like, of course, of course it happens right when I have the motivation to do something. But now it's fixed and I can start the video. So anyways, I'm not going to make a super long intro. Subscribe. And if you haven't watched the first two lowballing videos, go do that right now. They're on my channel. Go find them. Yes. Anyways, let's get into it. I originally was gonna make the video like two weeks ago, but I had vacation and then I also just kind of lost motivation for a bit. But here I am and here I'm making a video and I'm glad I'm doing it. All right, so I got the first two people and he trades me a one for all aspect of the dragons. I don't think anyone's gonna buy that because people wanting an aspect of the dragons usually only have about a couple million coins and they probably can't afford one for all or whatever the price is. So it's not really worth it. And this guy gives me an aspect of the void with pretty basic upgrades on it, ultimate wise 5 and ether warp. Those are both pretty desirable, so I decided to check the comparable prices. And I see that the lowest one was 19 mil with both of those upgrades on it. So I just offer him a little bit lower than that, which I think was pretty reasonable, but he didn't actually end up accepting me for whatever reason. I don't know. It's okay though. The next guy gives me clean shadow assassin boots. I don't want to kick him out because that would not be very nice, so I just offer him a couple hundred K under, which I think was perfectly reasonable, but he wanted 900 K, and I don't think that would be very worth it for me, <laughs> so I just started declining him and ignoring him. So this guy gives me a level 58 epic ender dragon with no candies on it. Uh, I haven't really done a lot of ender dragon flipping, but from the one time that I dropped one, they don't really sell that fast, and it's a lot of my purse that would be going to that instead of other items, so I end up declining. So after the admins added an update, I don't know how many months ago, it was a few months ago, they made it so that you can't stand in spawn at a hub and chat or else it won't let you send the message. And then if you try and send it again a couple seconds later, it says you can't say the same message twice. So the way around that is to walk over here to this well and then once you reach the well, then paste the message and then swap lobbies. That's what I usually do and it works pretty well. So just make sure you're not spamming a chat or you're gonna get disconnected a lot. So this guy gives me a random assortment of pretty valueless items except for the personal compactor. I didn't want to be rude and take away the opportunity for him, so I just decided to offer a couple hundred K under the total value, and he ended up accepting it, which is whatever. It's profit. I'll take it. So dude, this guy gives me a Solidar 3 Withered Flower of Truth with a Recom and all the fumings on it. So normally I wouldn't really take this, but after a couple of people have showed me that Solidar on Flower of Truth actually does sell, it just takes a little longer, I decided to check it out. So the lowest one that was pretty similar was 14 mil. So I was looking at the price and I was kind of hoping that the guy would ignore the fumings on it. So I offered two mil under the one that looked the same except didn't have fumings because fumings are very not noticeable visually on the item. And a lot of people don't really look for them unless they're buying really high end items, which Flower Truth obviously isn't. So I just hope he would kind of ignore the fumings and allow me to buy it for two mil under the other one. I probably can't sell it counting the value of the fumings anyways, but it's still a good flip. This guy gives me another Flower Truth. It's slightly worse, but I could probably sell it for low spin 5 star mythic. So I checked that, and the lowest one was 11.2, which is pretty similar except for the hot potatoes. So I originally was going to ask for 9 mil, but I lowered the price by 8.5 because I knew he would probably counter offer upwards. So I asked him for 8.5 and he started kind of arguing with me, and he ended up actually offering 9 mil in the end, so it was exactly what I wanted. And that's kind of a tip you wanna use. So I would always offer a little bit under what you think you'd be willing to take. And then if they counter offer, you'll actually get the price you want. And if they don't, you'll get an even better deal. So always offer lower than you think is good, but not too much lower or they'll just leave. This guy gave me a two star fragged shadow assassin chest plate, which I know it would probably sell either as a no star item or as a five star item. So. I know that I could probably apply some stars, which is kind of cheating, but applying the stars would make me a bit of money. So I see that the lowest one with frags on it is 17 mil. I see the lowest one with five star and frags on it is 18.5. So I know that I can make a decent amount of profit off of that. So I offer him 16 mil for the chest plate because it already has a couple stars on it and that's still lower than the price that it's at right now. And he counter offers 16.5, which I really don't want to do because that's not that much profit aside from the stars. 
So I offer him a bit lower just to try and get the tiniest bit out that I still can. So I offer 16.2 and he ends up declining that. So I just go with 16.5 and take the chest plate. This guy gave me a Shadow Fury with three stars on it, which is a decent weapon. Honestly, it's kind of a precursor to the Giant Sword, if you don't know. And with five stars, it would probably sell pretty quickly. So I checked the Shadow Fury prices without stars, and the lowest one that was legendary was 22.7 mil. And the lowest five star was 30 mil. So I knew that I could make quite a bit of money if I put the final two stars on this, which isn't that much essence, honestly, if you just run a bit of dungeons. So I offered him 3 mil under, which is 19 mil, which I thought was pretty reasonable. And I expected him to not take it, but he actually just took it immediately, so that was pretty nice. So the items he gave me were a Spirit Scepter with 4 stars, 2 pieces of Wise Dragon Armor that had 5 stars, 5 star Wither Goggles, 5 star Necromancer Lord Leggings, and a 5 star Tier 12 Recombobulated Perfect Chestplate. So I knew all this stuff was pretty standard gear for mages at different stages of the game. So I started writing all of the stuff down in Notepad after I realized I couldn't write it down in the NU search bar. So after I knew what all the items were, I started checking each one one by one on the auction house. For the lesser value items, I just went a couple hundred K under low spin. And then for the Spirit Scepter, my reasoning was that since it's not five star, it would probably sell for quite a bit less. But I would look for the lowest 4 star one and then undercut that one by a decent amount and maybe some flipper would catch it and purchase it and bring it up higher. So I ended up going for 13.7 on the Spirit Scepter. I went a couple mil under on the Perfect Chest Plate. And I went about 1 mil under on the Wither Goggles. So the total came out to 29.2 and I just cut off the decimal place for 29 and he accepted it immediately which was kind of nice. So I just got quite a bit of profit from this guy. Alright, so this time around, the first guy gives me a Hardened Man of Five book. So I know that Hardened Man of Five is a new item that not a lot of people use from the new Nether update because there are a lot of other enchantments that you can put on your armor that replace it that are a lot better. So I assume that the book was manipulated because a lot of people don't really buy this and it's kind of not that good. So I just checked how much it would cost to craft and it was one mil under lowest bin, so I just declined. So this guy gives me a bunch of gold ore pieces and a reaper mask. I won't bore you with it, but I decided it was a good idea because it's good armor for a tank. So I ended up writing everything down and I checked the values later. The next guy gave me a level 50 dolphin. The dolphin's gone kind of obsolete since the ammonite came out, so I declined. And it's also not level 100. And the last guy gave me ancient reaper leggings. I know that's a kind of normal item for a zombie slayer. So I just did a little bit under low spin for ancient leggings and he accepted that. So for the gold ore, I was first checking the leggings which had growth 6, prot 6 on them and were giant and recombobulated with 5 stars. So the lowest leggings with growth 6, prot 6 were 21.2 mil. I just decided to go a couple mil underneath that which was about 17.5 mil. Pretty similar thing with the boots except they didn't have g6, p6 on them and I knew people don't really buy growth 6 or prot 6 unless both of them are there so I just kind of ignored the growth 6 and just checked for last stand. So the lowest last stand ones were 15 mil and I just decided to go a few under that which was 12. And then for the Reaper Mask, I just did the exact same thing. Checked the lowest last stand. It also had gemstones on it, which was almost identical to the one that he gave me. So I went a couple mil under that one as well for 14. So I asked him for 43.5, which was the total of everything I added up, but he ended up declining. This next guy gave me a Venomous 6 book. Now, I like to stay away from these rare tier 6 enchantments and tier 7 enchantments because... The rarity allows them to be manipulated very easily. So you can see here that I'm checking the graph in NEU. It's not always accurate, but it kind of gives a good idea of how much an item is worth over time. And since I saw it was kind of on the decline, I knew that buying it might not be a very good idea, so I passed. So the Shadow Assassin boots, on the other hand, looked very purchasable to me. So I checked the auction house for the lowest one with five stars on it, and I saw that it was 2.3 mil. So I just went a bit under because I don't want to make like under a million coins because then at that point it's not really worth my time. So I asked him for 1.5 mil, although he ended up declining. So this guy gives me an atom split with Inferno on it. And I know Inferno has kind of been a new item and no one really knows what it's worth. So the price might fluctuate drastically. So I decided to decline because I didn't want to take that risk. All right, so I guess I'm going to sell everything now. So I'll just go through all these chests one by one and see what we have. So. Oh, I forgot about this one. I'll just sell this for low spin as well, which is okay. 
cool. So the chest plate, I kind of cheated on the chest plate because F5 started, but it's okay. The most ancient one is 20.5, so I'll just put it at 20.4. Shadow Fury, you could probably put it around 31.5 because it's better than this one, but this one's fabled. So, and this one's also withered and it has some tier sixes, so I'm gonna put it here. 31.4. Ooh, I got undercut a little bit. I'm just gonna hope that this one sells, and then mine will look a lot better. I guess it almost looks exactly like this one, so I can put it at like 14.8. Is that profit? That's profit. Okay. Sure, I'll take it. This one. I think this one can just go at like 11.9. The first ancient ones are 9 mil. My reasoning behind this was that if I could 5 star it would be way better. Even not, I could probably still put it around right here, like 15.4, and that should be profit. But their goggles are pretty easy. I'm just gonna look at the first ones. Uh, these are necrotic, so maybe a little higher, like 6 mil. Perfect chest plate. Um, look for the first giant one. So that might be bad because the first giant one's all the way up here. I can try putting it at like. I'll put it at 9.9, .9, whatever. Because the higher ones aren't really significantly better. So it might look better between these two if someone's looking for one that isn't ancient, I guess. And finally, the Necromancer Lord Leggings, 4.8, so let's do 4.7. Even though it's giant, I think people won't really be looking for that on such a... It's not a very endgame piece of armor, so people will probably just buy the first 5-star one, I think. Okay, so now for the profit. Um, I spent a total of... So 94.9 spent, and then gained... I think I did that math right, but that should be 31.6 mil in 30 minutes. That's pretty good.